Following the books of history are several volumes referred to as the wisdom literature that incorporate poetic forms to express their ideas. Hebrew poetry differs significantly from what we're used to today, but they still convey a timeless message that covers multiple topics. In this video, we'll talk about the books of poetry. There are five books in this group known as the books of poetry or wisdom literature. Some writers reserve the term wisdom literature specifically for the writings of Solomon. There are multiple authors who contributed to the content of these books, including David, Moses, Solomon, and others. These books in order are Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. Let's take a look at each of these. The book of Job explores the problem of suffering in the lives of those who seek to be righteous and identifies the true enemy of God's people. Satan, believing that he can cause the patriarch to curse God, is given permission to afflict a man with the limitation that he cannot take his life. Job, suffering the loss of his children and goods, is then stricken with boils, causing great pain. He's visited by friends who ultimately accuse him of sinning and attempting to hide these transgressions for which he's being punished by God. His own wife recommends that he abandon his integrity, curse God, and die. The book ends with God appearing to Job in a whirlwind, rebuking his friends, and challenging the patriarch's knowledge of the Lord's power and wisdom. As the story closes, we see that Job is blessed once more by God. The overall theme of the book is perseverance and patience in the face of hardship. Although some view the book as a mythical tale, James refers to Job's patience in his letter in the New Testament as a factual event. Psalms. Psalms are songs that deal with aspects of worship, praise, and remembrance of God's actions and blessings. These can be classified as liturgical psalms, songs of praise, didactic psalms, teaching songs that speak of God's actions, judgment, power, and other subjects. Historical psalms render accounts of a number of events. Prophetic psalms, many of which are messianic in nature or deal with future judgments against those who sin. Proverbs is a volume in which Solomon collected and recorded various truisms and anecdotal statements reflecting spiritual truths. These are intended to assist the people of God in their daily lives, emphasizing wisdom and faithfulness. The book also serves as a warning not to act foolishly before the Lord. Ecclesiastes is a word that means preacher. The overall theme of the book is that the wisdom of God is greater than that of mankind. Solomon's exploration of pleasure, knowledge, and other worldly pursuits leads to the conclusion that the whole of man is to fear God and serve him. The book concludes that the only profitable activity in life is to serve God, as only this has lasting benefit. The Song of Solomon is a love story that depicts the impact of attraction, the power of infatuation, and the beauty of physical intimacy in a loving relationship. Chastity, marriage, and avoidance of sexual immorality are underlying themes of the book. Historically, this book has been viewed as an allegory of Christ, but a closer analysis shows that this interpretation isn't correct. Although some believe that sex and sexuality are evil, the Song of Solomon shows that these are gifts from God, but have their place in a proper relationship the Lord will recognize. In our next video, we'll look at the writings of the major prophets.